Oh, you might do exhibition matches and all that kind of stuff, right? Says who? Wrestling and stuff, no? Uh, I don't think so. So here's my thing with the wrestling matches is like, just for fun. If you said, hey, Ben, just for fun. Yeah. Would you love to go wrestle someone? Yeah, I would. I would, right? I love, I love wrestling. I get in there. I love, I, you know, I love like, so one of my guys has gotten to be pretty good. He's in college. He got him Keegan O'Toole. He just won a junior world title this year. And so when, when I'm doing private lessons, I have such a thing about the development of the athlete. Sometimes I can wrestle hard, but most of the time it's like, I'm just going to help them with whatever they need help with. And it's still wrestling and it's fun, but it's helping them. You know, for like, for Keegan comes back this summer and he's training for the junior world title. So to be able to just shake hands sometimes and say like, I'm going to try to kick your ass. Should you try to kick my ass, mm-hmm. you know, like just to go, like, yeah, it's a good it, feel. It's so much fun. Yeah. And I don't get to do that very much. So if you said, Ben, would you love to do some matches? And the answer is, yeah. The problem, unfortunately for me, and maybe you can talk me off a ledge here, is like because of where I've gotten to in my career, if I choose to do a wrestling match, it, it's going to, people are going to be really excited about it. It's going to blow up. And it's like, I just want to wrestle just to wrestle. I'd rather just like go in a room where no one can watch and just wrestle and just in, enjoy it. Well, you could also wrestle. So there's different kinds of wrestling. There's wrestling where there's an event mm-hmm. and like, you know, there's a build up and an announcement. Yeah. And you can also do like uh Khabib style, like in the room, there's cameras and you're kind of going. It's like, like Khabib whoop- does that? No, in- uh, Marcel did that, he whooped my ass a few times. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I've seen Khabib with some videos. Okay. It's not like set up, it's just people going hard and then it's more fun. Yeah. You know, and it's, it's also more like presenting the beauty of the sport. Yeah. You know? For sure. And and like and there's no winning or losing really in yeah. that context. Yeah, yeah. Like you're just you're always joking around a little bit. Yeah. Even when you go super hard. So I feel like especially in the modern day with the with the internet, that's a compelling way to yeah. do. So I've thought about this is the one thing I've <laughs> thought about doing. Cause uh I told you about my buddy who has the the content thing. It's called Rockfin. Thought about doing, you know, the old, really famous Gracie challenge? Yeah. Okay, so I thought about doing the Askren challenge. You wanna hear my rule set? Yeah, let's go. I'm not sure I'm gonna do this. People are gonna show up to your, like in Wisconsin. (laughs) I have to select you. I'll start with a thousand bucks, right? All right. Okay, 30 minutes. You pin me or I pin you. That's it. No points, no nothing. Mm -hmm. We just wrestle. Camera, that's it, right? It's camera in the room. Maybe maybe, maybe there's a referee because we don't want there to be contention over the pin. So- Just one pin. Just one pin. 30 minutes, 30 minutes, okay? If I pin you, you don't get shit, you go home, right? Every person I pin, it goes up by $1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, and so on. If you make it the distance and I don't pin you and you don't pin me, I'll pay for your travel and give you 500 bucks, Mm -hmm. right? Just a kind of consolation prize for showing up. If you pin me, you get whatever the jackpot is. (laughs) Wait, who's adding to the jackpot? I am, it's my 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 money. But then what's the incentive to keep winning for you? Because the jackpot. Well, because I was, so I would put the content somewhere and people would watch it. Oh, right? so you're gonna so, make money. Yeah, okay. so you'd make money that. But way. But it's not exponentially growing, right? It's just going up by like. Yeah, I really think there's probably only a couple of people that could pin me. So I would either just not choose those people or wait till I get a really large audience and people get really excited. And in that case, I'm making a lot of money. So. What, what do you think? How many matches would go with you? Like Kyle Dake shows up. I don't think he could pin me. Yeah, but I mean, like, so like Jordan Burroughs. Jordan Burroughs could beat me. But he can't pin me. He was never a pinner. Yeah. He ain't gonna pin me. There's only a few people who have the skill level to do so, right? It's, it takes a lot. Cause that was, so pinning was one of my specialties. I had yeah. the fourth most of all time and I won the pinning award the last two years. Um, so, so you think and then you can even, be down on points and just pin them. This is actually one of the issues I have with jujitsu and the point system and the Eddie Bravo thing. I actually think the Eddie Bravo thing is kind of, people get so mad at me. Sorry, jujitsu. I think it's bullshit. And you want me to tell you why it's bullshit? Yeah. So like if Jordan Burroughs whoops my ass and the score is 16 to two, but he can't pin me, then I get to go to overtime and get a cradle on him. I'm probably going to pin him. Mm-hmm. So I'm better than Jordan Burroughs. Nah, that ain't right. He just whooped my ass. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like if we can go the whole, cause they do submission only. Mm-hmm. So if Jordan Burroughs beats me up for what is it? Eight minutes, 10 minutes. I don't know. What's the length of an Eddie Bravo match? Yeah, I don't know. So it's something, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So we go 10, me and Jordan Bros go 10 minutes. He's going to outscore me significantly. But he, he will not pin me. I promise you that. Okay. So now we go, to, we go to the overtime. Strong words, but yeah. He won't. Jordan Bros is not going to. He's going to beat me. I will give you that. Kyle Dake won't pin you either. No. Okay. Okay. They will both beat me on points very badly. Now, David Taylor, he might, he might pin me because he's a very good pinner also. Um, they'll beat me very badly. They will not pin me. 
Um, but now we get to overtime and we get to pick like, uh, right. So in, in a Bravo, you get a uh, rear naked choke or an arm bar. Okay. Give me a cradle. I'll, I'll probably pin them. Okay. A good cradle. You can say cradle or maybe give them, they're not probably not going to pin me, right? Maybe, maybe there's a chance, but probably not because that's just not their specialty. Yeah, so for people who don't know, the Eddie, uh, Eddie Bravo thing is uh, when and it goes into overtime, you get a dominant position on a person yeah. and you get to, yeah, basically put them in a cradle. This is the wrestling equivalent. Yeah. But you uh, take their back. Or maybe amount. an arm bar. Yeah. Like yeah. a wrestling arm bar. Yeah. So, and I don't think that's very fair because if someone whoops your ass, they whoop your ass. And then, you know, and so I think the reason why jujitsu people accept that rule set is that I don't think, I think they know this, but would admit it. I don't think their, their point scoring system adequately, adequately rewards what people value. So like right. in wrestling, we value takedowns because it gets us closer to the pin. And the, the most valuable scoring is a near fall near to the pin because mm -hmm. that's the ultimate goal of the sport. Whereas in jiu-jitsu, for example, like if I were to get a takedown, uh, so like if I went to Gordon Ryan and he just didn't pull guard, I would probably get the takedown. Now, if somehow he didn't submit me, which he probably would, right? But say he got, got close to like 12 submissions, but somehow I slipped out of all of them. Mm -hmm. Now I win two zero, like that's ridiculous. Like he should very clearly win because he almost submitted. You know what I'm saying? Like there, and I and I realize the difficulty. I realize the difficulty in rewarding near submissions, but that is the most valuable thing is getting close to finishing the match. And in most competitions, they don't actually reward that. But okay, so this this isn't about the sport. This is about the Ben Askren challenge that we're talking about. <laughs> okay, what? Uh, why thirty minutes? Why not unlimited time? Hmm. Why, why go until whenever? Cause well, because then it's just a cardio thing because at some point, um, then but, someone would just have to fall over dead, right? Well, There's no more skill level involved. It's just who can, who can stand you, up the longest. You honestly don't think... <laughs> 30 minutes is a cardio thing too. How do you think that's actually going to look? Kyle Day going against you for 30 minutes. What's so it's going to be kind of boring um, for the most part. Because, what position are you going to be stuck well, cause in? Well, because you, well, you can't, but you can't, you just can't have a gigantic amount of action for 30 minutes. So I, I relate this because some of my kids, when, when I'm teaching them wrestling, they're like, well, but I can't do that for seven minutes. And I'm like, well, you know, like say, say if I had you do uh, hand cleans at a relatively heavy weight as hard as you could, you're not going to last seven minutes. Mm -hmm. You're going to, your pace will slow down, right? So my thing is like, well, your pace doesn't have to step here because in wrestling, you're competing against someone. Mm -hmm. So if you're here at 100 and you go to 80, but they go to 70, that's great. And then mm -hmm. you go to 60, but they go to 40, yeah. this is even better, right? Because the gap is growing. So we don't necessarily, if we get tired, that's fine. If they get more tired, that's better. So I think most people would know that. So they would kind of slow it down. Um, but yeah, I think in 30, a thir I mean, I've, I've wrestled 30 minute goes, I've wrestled, six minutes, I've wrestled hour long goes. Um, you're not going to get so tired. You're going to fall over in that time period. But at some point, if we if it's unlimited, someone will get so tired that or dehydrated that they're just going to freaking fall over. Yeah, but you you think what about making it exciting and dynamic? You think the other person is always going to be going for the pin, and thereby uh, make it dynamic. Well, if they were working that hard, then they might exhaust themselves, right. right? And and obviously, then if you're if you're being that dynamic, then you're adding risk to yourself too because you are you know doing that. Well, I love this. This is a great idea. <laughs> should, should do this. Well, I figure I'd, get, I'd rack up like twenty pins against bums, you know, or not not as great people in the beginning, and yeah. then I would start bringing in better people because they would be enticed by you know twenty thousand right. dollars, the possibility to win, and not not much fanfare, just a camera and just, just a camera. local. That's cool. it in my wrestling room. Yeah, yeah, Chief. like the Gracie Challenge. Yes, <laughs> yeah, and, may, and so then maybe you have like. Um, you know, for most people, you have someone edit like the 90 seconds of the most fun things that happen, and then you can watch the entire 30 minutes if you want to. Yeah. I mean, I think most people, if, if they're not really, really elite, um, I'm probably going to pin them. If yeah. they're not really elite. So, yeah. But I don't know. I, I That's something I've been thinking about. This has been like fun for me to think about. Um Obviously, it plays to my skill sets because my cardio is good and my pinning is good, also. Mm -hmm. So, 